morning, everybody. Um, I'm very excited to be here this morning. I wanted to talk to you guys about this lady. Now, this is Cool Girl Wave. And Cool Girl Wave was the wave that I designed for the huge global GHD campaign. And what I wanted to tell you about is why I designed it. When you are designing something that's going to be shown worldwide, it's really important, first of all, to study what the market is. Now, the feeling of this wave has really come, you probably know it so well, and it's come from beachy, undone hair. But because I'm representing a brand, and because the story is about this, which is our styler, and this is Platinum Plus, it's really important to show that wave with a soft reflection. First of all, I wanted to show you my references. This is a picture from Vogue showing very kind of undone, salty hair. And what I needed to do was to give that soft texture, but mix it with the reflection. Mixing the two waves together, so you've got the softness from one wave, which is flatter and shinier, mixed with the undone movement. Now, how I look at hair, because I'm a trend forecaster, is I watch people how they move their hair. So often I look at women in restaurants, I look at women in the bathroom, which sounds crazy. But when I go to, when I go to the bathrooms, I hold a mirror like this, pretend to do my makeup with the back of the mirror in the thing, and I watch how women touch their hair. And when you watch how they move their hair, you can see almost what the client is looking for. And what I noticed 18 months ago is that women were looking in the mirror doing this. Everyone. They would come to the toilet and, do, 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 and they would go like this. And then they would go like this. And what I realized is they needed or they wanted their hair to move forward. So I went back into GHD and I created this wave, which I want to show you. And really often in my role for the company, it's about how I translate each look to the beauty directors. So every time I'm producing something for the company, it's about when you stand in front of Vogue, when you stand in front of Glamour magazine, they understand that they're what you're, they're, you're talking about. And also, more importantly, they recognize themselves within that. So what I did is I created this wave so that it always fell forward onto the face. Even six or seven hours later, we moved it at the root of the hair. So by taking the styler here, rotating at this angle, so moving in, rotating forward, it created, this is what we call a style seal. So because of the technology of platinum, it's always going to stay like that. We then push this to create a very, very soft texture and then go back in with the styler and move it through, but drop it all the way down. And this gives you what's called like a leaner silhouette. So instead of it being very puffy, it starts to come in. You take the end and then you bevel. So you round it. So what we realized was now we're moving to, instead of just taking the hair and curling in one direction, we want different things to happen. We want this to move forward, but we don't want this to be too out. And when we want this to be soft. So you break up the sections. Around the front hairline, you're dragging this forward, and then you kick right at the brow. So at the brow, you kick back. You run it through. And the more time you spend with the tool in your hands, it becomes almost like an extension of you, almost as if it is your hands. 
So moving that forward throughout. Now, one of the things that I was taught many years ago is to be just as capable in one hand as the other. And so how you achieve this, so it's about being able on this side to start with this hand. And how you achieve this is you brush your teeth every day with the different hand for one month, okay? Which feels quite awkward. But what you start to do is develop the muscles in your other hand, which means that when you're styling, you can achieve some symmetry. I think when you're designing techniques, especially for a global education, it's important to think of something that's fresh. Think of something that's very different from the way that they are moving. Perhaps with a color, it's an extension of something that you're already doing, but it's taken on to move to the next season. So just working this through. Section by section. And the important part of this is the preparation. So I actually don't tend to use much hairspray, but when I prepare the model for styling, I take almost the same sections as when you're doing a global color. So I work every four centimeters from the nape of the neck, working up, splitting the hair, over spraying at the root, so a lot of concentration, and then you pull out to six centimeters and lightly spray on the end. And this will give you incredible volume, but a lightness and airiness. So actually, although in this instance I'm a stylist, we really look at these in an extremely technical way. So before each style is developed, we split the hair into four, and in each section, we use a different styling product. We create the movement, and then we analyze the hair, and then we go back a few hours later and look at it again. And in this way, you can really learn much, much more about how the hair reacts to different products. So working this through, when you put this under the camera, where you've sleeked it, you'll have more reflection. Let's have one section here. So here I'm gonna move hands. So being just as flexible with your other hand, rotating, coming out. It helps if you make a noise, I don't know why, but it, it just does. And then, the, and then the model starts making a noise as well when you do it. And it just becomes a bit kind of better all the way around. So I'm gonna move her head forward. So you put her head forward. Now one of the things I realized is I put my model's hair forward and when I ask them to take it back, they always say, what, what do you mean? And the hair is never in the right place. So what we designed at GHD was something that we call the disco flip. And disco flip is kind of like when you're in the middle of the dance floor and you, you know, you're, you've had two or three vodkas so you're feeling quite brave and you kind of just come up for your moment. And, <laughs> you know how it is. For me, it's about two vodkas and a really good track. So what you have to talk to your, so you're gonna flip back, you know? There's a really hot guy, he's about three <laughs> rows in, and you need to be major for him, okay? So this is your moment. We're gonna count her down, okay? Ready, let's One, do that flip. One, two, <laughs> two, three, three go! Flip! Yes! Yay! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give a huge round of applause to Zoe Irwin. Thanks Thank everyone, you. have a good morning.